All right, welcome back to week four of the MOB Power Rankings by me, of course. Um, but before we get into it, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content so you don't miss out on any new uploads like this. I try to do these every single Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so yeah, um, if it seems like I'm all over all over the place right now, I'm writing the script while I was watching the Madrid-Chelsea game. Which I was pretty good. I mean, we had a pulley shit scoring a goal. I've been to my score to goal. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty good game. I mean, and, um, you know, so I had to watch it. So, um, yeah. So, uh, okay, now let's get into the video. So, at number one, I have the Dodgers. I know they went through sort of a skid last week by dropping four games and losing uh, the, period, the series to the Padres. Uh, their offense looked a bit lost in the first two games and that last game against the, uh, I think it was the Mariners. No, not the Mariners. Um, I'm not sure. I think it was the Mariners. Now, they still have the best run differential in the majors. Um, the GLAP has closed a bit. Some other solid teams have emerged this week, as um, I will talk about later. But, yeah, this Dodgers team is still number one. And at number two, I have the Padres. Look, yes, I know they took three out of four from the Dodgers, and Tatis homeward five times this uh, that series. And, yes, they came back in a pretty good way in game four. Um, but let's be honest, the Dodgers are still better. I mean, let's not forget that this team got swept by the Brewers. And, I mean, I mean, yeah, that's all I got to say on the Padres. They're still wor a little bit worse than the Dodgers, but they're almost there. And number three, I have the Oakland A's. Okay, so the Oakland A's are the best team in the American League. I mean, yes, they had a horrible start, um, but they did come back. They won 13 games in a row. That's really impressive as they managed to beat... The Dodgers and the Twins in this span, which the Twins aren't doing so well, but that's still a pretty good team. But, yes, 13 games in a row. It's hard to win five games. Now, imagine winning 13 games. That's pretty amazing. And at number four, I have the White Sox. The White Sox have changed their hitting approach, and it seems to have worked as they are getting better counts and are hitting way better. Also, Yermin Merced is uh, still having a monster year. He is slugging 657. Um, they did lose Lance Lynn to injury. But Kopech has looked really good in the pen and should do a good job in filling his spot and filling in Lance's spot in the rotation. Uh, at number five, I have the Brewers. Now, the Brewers have been playing really well, going two and five after a really bad start. Corbin Burns is having a pretty nice season. He will probably be a Cy Young Award candidate if it wasn't for Jacob DeGrom in the National League. Although he did get lit up in Miami, um... I mean, this team is doing pretty good, and they're still missing on MVP uh, winner Christian Yelich. Um, so, yeah, this team can only get better or get worse. At number six, I have the Red Sox. Now, yes, they did go four and three, and, but they still have a good away record going six and one. Um, they're still playing well, and they're still on top of the AL East. Now, a little bit of a surprise at number seven. The Giants have been really sneaky this season. They have led the league in ERA with a 2.26 ERA, which is amazing. Posey has looked um, better than he has these past couple of three years or so. Um, and they're number two in that division with the Padres and the Dodgers. So, yeah, props to the Giants. They're playing really well right now. All right, so another surprise with the Mariners. The Mariners have been really good, and that's why I have at number nine. And they went 3-3 three and three against two very good teams in the Dodgers and the Red Sox. Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, they've been playing really well and has been surprising a lot of people. So that's why I have number nine. I mean, number eight, excuse me. Okay, so now at number nine, I have the Mets. I mean, what can I say about the Mets? The Mets got swept by the Cubs earlier in the week, but then came back to beat the Brakes off of the Nationals. Um, Jacob DeGrom had an impressive outing, giving up, and throughout the season, he has given he has produced more offense than giving than, give, than have given up. I think he has. Which is truly amazing. And in that in that game against the Nets, he hit two hits, which is more than he allowed, which is truly amazing. I mean, Jacob Degrom, when it's all said and done, he might be one of the best pitchers in baseball of all time. At number eleven, after after a really hot start, the Angels have finally come back to earth, and um, I mean, they really slowed down from that start that they had, and you know they've been playing pretty mediocrely, but they have Shohei Otani and Mike Trout, which have always been good. So here at number eleven is a good spot for them. Number twelve, the so the Rays, Kevin Cash has had a rough time um, to start off the season, um, but they've won five games in a row, and they put up 24 runs against 
Um, a really good team, which I'm flanking on its name right now. But they did put up 24, team, 24 runs in the games, which is pretty good. Number 13, Toronto. Toronto did sweep the Rays, which are above them. But they lost um, Rui to a butt injury or something like that, which, you know, isn't good. So number 13 for them, I mean, they haven't been playing good or, or bad. 14, the Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks have won six games in their last seven, in their last seven, which is pretty good. Um, they have some strong pitching in Zach Allen, Mad Bum. Mad Bum throwing that um, no hitter, seven inning no hitter. Um, he looked pretty good out there. I mean, it was a Braves lineup that can't produce anything. So, um, you know, there's that. But other than that, um, the, it's, it's been pretty good. I mean, it's been a pretty good week for the Diamondbacks. Number 15, the Astros, after they win 19-1. The Astros did go 19-1 in the last 20 games, but they are somewhat back as they're getting their pieces back. Um, so, you know, they should be good going forward. So, you know, 15 for them. 16, I have the Cardinals. Um, they're looking a lot better and are now 11-11. And they still have the division rival, which is always good. 17, the Yankees. The Yankees have looked a lot better, but it was against the Braves and the Car and I mean and Cleveland, which you know aren't very good teams. Um, they still need to work on the lineup. They still need to learn how to hit with runners in scoring position. The pitching has to stop relying on Cole, but the bullpen is pretty good. So you know, uh, we need to get a couple more rotations, rotation pitchers. So at 18 and 19, I have the Phillies and the Nationals. You could really swap these two, and uh, it wouldn't really matter. I mean, they're going through sort of an injury bug right now, and they haven't gr they haven't looked great so far. So um, you guys decide where you want to put them, 19 or 18. It's up to you guys. Number 20, the, the Cubs are a funky team. They have beat two. They have beat two. They have beat two really good teams, that, and then go on to lose three straight. Don't know what to say about them. Cleveland is just bad. So I'm going to have him at 21. 22, other than Freddie Freeman and Ozzie Albies, which is having an MVP-type season, the offense is non-existing with the with the Baltimore, I mean, with, with the Atlanta Braves. I mean, they got no hit by Madison Bub Garner and then go on the next game to get shut out by Zach Allen. It's not a good look for the Braves. At number 23, unfortunately, we have the Cincinnati Reds. They have lost seven straight, and you know, which is really sad because I really enjoyed what they had at the beginning of the season. So number 23 for the Reds. 24, I have the Pirates. In the last five, they have in the last five series, they have won four of them, which is really good. I mean, this this Padres team and um, Pirates team is really overachieving. But deep down, we all know these guys are probably gonna go back into the basement. So 24 for them. 25, I know I was a bit high on them. On the Twins, but they're pretty bad right now. I mean, they've gone two and eleven, and you know that's not good. So you know, twenty five for them. Uh, twenty six the Marlins. Nothing much to say except for that good young rotation that they have to build around. Twenty seven except for Kedrick Mullins, who is hitting three sixty. Those Oriole offense has looked abysmal, but the pitching has not looked bad. And, you know, dare I say it, it looks pretty good. Number 28, the Rangers got swept by the White Sox. They, um, which, you know, isn't good. And they have some good trade pieces like Kyle Gibson and Adolos, Adilos Garcia, uh, who have, been, have looked good so far. 29, the Tigers, um, after a good start, they have gone 1-9. But Aki Baldu is still hitting. And that's really good for them because he's, he's amazing. 30, the Rockies. I mean, the only good news with these guys is that they got rid of the man general manager, which is the guy who traded away on a Renato. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for this week. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it for this week. If you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe. And if you guys enjoyed the video, also like. Um, I'll be – this will probably this is going out on Thursday probably. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, uh Take care, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good rest of the day.